There's one project that I'm watching with a lot of excitement, and that's Google's Firebase Studio. Here's what it's looking like. It's basically something like a cursor, right? A uh, AI assistant development environment. It has Gemini 2.5 Pro built in, and it allows you to really easily host any app that you build. Now, I believe coding is gonna get a lot easier and be a lot more accessible for a wider range of people with the assistance of AI. Still, there are tons of things that are very difficult to do, like for example, hosting apps, making sure they're secure, scaling them up if it goes viral, etc. It seems to me that Google is building this thing to handle all those things to make it a lot easier for everyday people to be able to build prototypes, host it online, get users, etc. Now, so far, this has failed to generate great attention and virality because this is still a work in progress. So don't expect this thing to be mind-blowing right off the bat, but the potential for it to be great is there. Here's an example of something that someone was able to build. I'll show you who did this in just a second. This, as you can see, is a 3D view of the solar system with all the planets going around. You can zoom in, zoom out, rotate it as you see fit. So for example, we can click on this planet, Mercury, and get some information about Mercury. Here's some information about Earth, for example, you know, distance from the sun, the size, and uh, in the description it just says mostly harmless. I'm kidding, that's from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, but it would be kind of wild if it said that. Anyways, so this is an example of something that can be built within this thing and very easily hosted online. So for example, I'm looking at this through a web page that's hosted online, as I've shown in the previous videos, you can do it in just like a few clicks, it's very simple you get access to tons of analytics so you can see how many users are checking out your app. So Firebase Studio, their account on Twitter X, is launching Firebase Studio Friday where things that people create can be sort of featured on their account. And here's the user that created this. Uh, he, he's got a Ghibli image of himself, but he's the one that created this. So we are beginning to see some sort of cool creations uh, coming out of this and people posting it online, hosting it, etc. Google has been announcing some new things for this. They, it looks like they have a little better of an integration with 2.5 Pro, which is their best coding model so far and probably one of the best available right now. When this launched, I was trying to use it. I had a lot of problems with their sort of built-in model. But now it looks like they have the Gemini 2.5 Flash and they did have the option to use Gemini 2.5 Pro. Again, this is probably like the best of the best coding model available right now. So we're going to try it out now and see if it got a little bit better. So we're going to say create a web app that access the user's webcam and mic. And then allow them to add filters to their audio and video. For video, add filters like Matrix and Black and White. For audio, add filters like deep voice and high pitched voice. So let's start there. This should be fairly simple. So I think Gemini 2.5 Pro should be able to easily knock this out of the park. So let's see if it's able to do that here. All right, so I'm getting hit with an error. I'm supposed to be using not a Gemini 2.5 Pro, but Gemini 2.5 Pro Experimental. All right, so we're gonna use a custom model ID and post that in there. Let's see if that does the trick retries failed. So again, I've said this before, I'm probably gonna say it again, this thing is still a little bit clunky, there's still some issues, it's brand new. So understand that this is not gonna be as smooth and polished as some of the other tools that we're used to. But the amount of stuff that I think they're trying to accomplish here is kind of impressive. And if they manage to pull it off, and again, it's Google, they tend to build good stuff when they really focus their attention to, on it and uh, they've been doing incredibly well recently with a lot of the AI stuff that they've been doing. And again, this is a very ambitious project and uh, I'm kind of excited if they manage to pull it off. So, you know, I don't mind some of the problems and issues and bugs and stuff like that, as long as the final thing will be very, very polished. So just keep that in mind. Don't expect this to be perfect right out of the box. But as you can see here, it built us this code and we can click here on this web. So initially it had a hello world, but let's let's reload it and see if it did the thing that it was supposed to. Start webcam. I might have to disable my webcam. All right, so I wasn't able to do it within their little web preview, but I might be able to do it within here. Let's see. All right, so I had to disable my uh, streaming uh, software. Yes, I... Uh, sort of record this in front of a green screen. Let's see, so here's the webcam. I'm recording it directly from Chrome browser. 
and we have a few video filters. Let's see how, okay, black and white. That's pretty cool. That is working as intended. Matrix. So it said that it didn't make the matrix yet, but let's see if it did the rest of the stuff. Let me allow sound. Test, 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 test. Okay, it might not have the sound quite yet. So we're gonna continue, we're gonna say add the matrix mode. All right, so after about a minute and one error where I just said uh, try again, but there was some sort of an internal error, it finished it up. Here's what that's looking like. So here's the black and white filter and here's the matrix filter. So it's, I, I don't know, I'm gonna give it full credit for this because I didn't specify, I kind of wanted to see what it would do. I meant more like turn my face and my surroundings into this green code. I mean, it nailed the matrix effect, sure, but not quite what I was looking for. For this stuff, I think it needs some sort of an API because it wants to use an API for that. So we'll see what we want to do with that. But let's try this. The matrix filter should turn my webcam feed into the matrix green code rain. So let's see if I can understand what I'm trying to say there. So actually, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, I guess it gets a couple of points off because I mean, we did specify that it's a filter, right? So meaning we take the output from the camera and we do apply filter. So, you know, it gets a few points off for that. It, this is good, but not quite what we were looking for. All right, so it should be done. Let's see what it did here. Okay, that is pretty interesting. So it's got the code rain. <laughs> I'm all green. Yeah, this is not bad. I expected something more that morphed everything into code, but this is good. I would give it uh, a solid B for this filter, but let's see if we can make it even better. So this is kind of the effect that I was looking for. So let's get a picture of that and send it to Gemini to see if we can figure it out. So I uploaded here and, and, and said, so we're gonna say, make it so that the video turns into code and make the code green and matrix alike. And I uploaded kind of what that's supposed to look like. Let's see if it's able to figure it out. And then if it's able to do that, we'll try to see if we can add that sort of rainfall effect. All right, so I took a minute or two, let's see. So black and white and matrix, no, that did not do anything. Let's see, I mean, it's doing, something but not quite sure what it has the initial rainfall and then okay not quite what we're looking for so we're going to say create another filter that turns the webcam feed into ascii characters so again we're kind of looking for something that's going to look like this so i ran into an issue finishing that that one web app it uh, sort of could not figure out the matrix code i tried doing a little bit more of an ascii cam but we've been we, we started running into some issues so again, these aren't issues that are specific to Gemini. These are more, they have to do with Firebase and how it integrates with Gemini. I started a brand new instance and gave it the prompt to create this ASCII camera. Were you able to change the character size? Let's see, you see the characters are kind of getting bigger as we turn the slider up. So that's actually pretty cool, I guess. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is kind of interesting. I like how it did it here. I have no complaints. This is exactly kind of what I was looking for. And it also has a warp factor where you can kind of warp everything into this. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna give it a passing grade on this, maybe a B. But I guess my big point here is keep an eye on this thing because one morning we're gonna wake up and this thing is gonna be great. Right now, there's still a few bugs to iron out. It's still not perfectly production ready. But once it gets there, this is going to be a full-fledged AI developer environment with an easy way to host the apps, to track the analytics and all that stuff. And as the models keep getting better, their integration with Firebase app is, is going to get better and better. It also allows you to do all of this within the browser. So you're not installing anything locally. You can access it from any computer. So definitely something to keep an eye on. And if you do develop something, make sure you use the hashtag Firebase Studio Friday posted on Twitter so that they can uh, give you a shout out.